Next guest to First at Four, Sandra de Kaiser, the CEO and co-founder of Elevate AI. We're talking artificial intelligence here. Yes, and we've been joking that we have no clue what we're talking about. <laughs> we have a bit of a clue, and we've been chatting with Chandra a little bit more. And But this is an app that you've developed, and you've partnered with Gannon here yes. in the area. So tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, so the app was born when we, you know, COVID threw the whole planet in, in yes. video calls. And we started working in video calls and learning, and, you know, going to school, um, seeing your doctor in video call. And, you know, or, or friends in our, uh, in our families, children were dropping out of school or, you know, getting bad grades. Uh, people were losing engagement, demotivation. So we developed that. Uh, we started a year ago. We've been bootstrapping and we demonstrated the product at Demo Day of the Erie Chamber of Commerce uh, last week. Uh, it's an app that analyzes the emotions of participants in video calls. It mm. uses AI wow. to do it in a systematic way, objective way, and also ethical way, in a way that is unbiased. It, we've put a lot of emphasis on AI that is unbiased. And so we've created that. We released it for the general public. It's uh, available on our website on get-elevate.com. Get and it's uh, artificial intelligence, facial expression. So it's a special kind of AI that understands uh, emotions on the face of people. Yes. Now, when you're when you're in a room with someone, sometimes you can just you know tell by their body language. Or so, what kind of what kind of facial expressions is it looking for on on video that we you might not be able to tell? Yeah, that's funny because we were preparing our pitch, and you know we we noted that there are six thousand nine hundred languages that humans speak. But there are seven facial expressions, and hmm. they are universal. Oh. It's science-based, uh, an anthropologist. We even went to Papua New Guinea. Humans express their emotions the same way all over the world. Seven. And seven base emotions. Okay. And so uh, it's, it's a special class of AI that does deep learning and trains uh, what is called an AI model. Mm -hmm. An AI model is a little AI piece of software, and it takes an image, and it will tell you what are the emotions expressed by that, that face. Does a lot have to do with the eyes? The eye expression, I would think that you, because I know if you're talking with somebody and they're looking a certain way when they say something, that could be a lie. I've always heard it's kind of in the, li in the eyes. Yeah, yeah, maybe you've seen the TV show Lie to Me, so that we're going towards that. <laughs> yeah, it's a kind yeah. of, you know, because in the, 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 the ultimate frontier of, uh, of emotions is the facial expression. There are 10,000 micro expressions mm -hmm. on the face. Oh, wow. So it's about detecting that. Uh, it's, uh, and you also mentioned the uh, body language. So what we are doing, we are now uh, with a commercial product uh, with the facial expressions, but we are also working on the tone of voice, which can be give another point of view. Because oh, wow. some people can you know, maybe keep a poker face, mm -hmm. but their voice may say something else. Oh, wow. And the third one you mentioned is the body language. So we're trying to take a holistic approach to understand people as well as we can. And we do it in a way that respects privacy. We don't send people's face to the cloud where... Right, you know. right. We talked a little bit about, in the break, consent. Uh, yes. Talk about how that plays a part in this app. Yeah, I mean, you know, we see that just like we, Zoom, three years ago nobody was using Zoom or starting to use, and the next thing you know people want to record Zoom, and then there is a pop-up and you need to say, yeah, I accept mm -hmm. that you record this video. So exactly the same thing with Elevate. No, no video calls should be analyzed with AI without people being informed about it. And if they want to know what are you going to do with my data, mm -hmm. people should know. It, we should be super transparent about that, even say more. Sometimes there is a gray area in legislation, and it depends on one country to the other. And what happens if the video call crosses international borders? So it, to be on the safe side, we say, look, inform everybody. And if they ask you tons of questions, answer the tons of questions. Just say what you're going to do and mm -hmm. why you do it. Why do you analyze emotions? I mean, right now we're looking at each other. We're analyzing each other's emotion. We sure. do that as humans. We are wired to do that, right? So the idea is to have data to understand what's going on in meetings. Are students at risk of being, you know, dropping out of the bandwagon? Ah. Are people nearing depression? You know, in the U.S., it's $210 billion a year lost to depression, loss of productivity. Right. 200 million working days are lost every year in the U.S. 200 million, it's a like one per person. It's not huge, but you know, it's $44 billion, just the working days lost. Sure. So it's a lot of money at stake as well. Sure is, yeah. It's really, really there fascinating. Is. We could talk forever, but we are out of time. <laughs> Sandra, thanks so much for being here. Well, uh, one you. more time quickly, tell our viewers where they can find a little bit more. 
Yes, yeah, so um, we are on, on, on the website. Well, by the way, we're opening an office here at Gannon University in the Center of Business wow. Ingenuity. We are just uh, graduated from the Erie Fire Accelerator. And so you can go on our website. It's uh, get-elevate.com, not .ai. And you can find me on LinkedIn, Chandra De Kaiser. I don't think there are many out there. Chandra, there are <laughs> lots of them. De Kaiser, then you find me. It's unique. Yes. <laughs> no, well, thank you so much. Well, for thank you for us. having me. Yes, we'll be